All right, BB40 back with another video. This is my friend uh, who actually lives in the Ukraine. I was playing a game with him today and posting this mainly for him, but also wanted to talk about some uh, other lessons I've learned on my own. Um, I went down twice in this game. <laughs> So, uh, and I, I'm trying to figure out why, and I think I got an idea as to why I went down. Most, both times I was, it was in the process of, uh, after, right after reviving someone else, I took a lot of damage from reviving someone else and didn't realize how low my health was and ended up getting too close to the zombies. And that's what I want to talk about, getting close to zombies, um, how close you should get, and jumping over them, when you should jump, and also the backpedaling thing that I've been talking about in a lot of my videos lately. You see this? Uh, you see that guy, the uh, winged mini boss. He was right on me, and I wasn't able to shake him because he was—he was going just as fast as I was. So I ended up having to turn around and run from him, and I gained a good distance away from him just from doing that. And that's what I've been recommending all the time in my videos: is don't backpedal. Don't you know sit there backpedaling trying to shoot the zombies when they come when they're on you, when they're really close, you know, hitting you, about to hit you. Just turn and run. It's the safest thing to do. Once you turn and run, you gain some distance, and you can turn back and shoot them. So you gotta remember that. Uh, I, I still see it today. I'm gonna show another video later. I'm gonna put in. Actually, I'm gonna go to uh, after this map here. This is a red brick um, industrial. We're gonna go to the mountain fortress after this, and there'll be some examples of other people backpedaling again. So I just want to point that out again. How dangerous it is. That the safest thing to do is just turn around and run away from the zombies as quick as you can. And here I'm trying to revive this kid, he just won't sit still. <laughs> so if you get down, I mean, I'd mention this again, if you drop and you want someone to revive you, just sit still. It, it's very, very difficult, much more difficult to revive you if you're moving around than if you just sit there and wait for the get revived. You know, like this kid, see he's moving off, and I lost him. I think I lost him, or maybe I revived him, I don't know. <clears throat> You gotta sit still and let you know, let the person reviving you do his job. Otherwise, uh, I mean, today in this game, one of the, one of the times I just ran off. I said, I, I, I just I, I'm not gonna play this game. If you're gonna run around and not sit still, I'm just gonna leave you there. <laughs> and that's what I had to do because the kid would not sit still. So anyway, but yeah, uh, this young guy I'm playing with, it, my friend, he's uh he's from, he lives in the Ukraine. This kid right here, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's him he's he's a good kid he's been uh, he's been great um, a great friend so far he's been watching all my videos and uh, liking my videos and everything so and leaving a lot of comments which I appreciate so I wanted to play he, he's he hit me up today so we playing the game here today so uh, and yeah keep him in your prayers he says he's fine his family is fine there in the Ukraine where he is I don't know where he is I didn't ask too much detail but he says they're safe where they are but as you know, there's millions of Ukrainians who are not safe and having to flee the country, and they feel just feel so sad for these people and having to go through this dealing with this maniac in Russia. So keep them in your prayers. Keep the people of Ukraine in your prayers. So anyway, uh, back to this game here. So the things I was want to talk about that I've learned um, after I revived the players, I've noticed, and I, I have noticed this, but I haven't figured out exactly the. The range yet, but the zombies seem to have a reach, a range outside their physical body where they're able to hit you. So I've been running too close to the zombies when I go past them. I've been just kind of overconfident and taking chances. And what I'm learning is that I got to give them a wider berth. When I go around the zombies, I got to run around a little bit wider, not go so directly at them anymore. So right there, those guys hit me as I was running by. So they always started draining me a little bit. Now I'm going to come up here and try to revive this kid, which again, he's not sitting still. <laughs> no, he's sitting still for me now. No, he didn't. He moved off. See? Look at him. He just won't stop. And I finally said, hell with it. I can't, I can't revive you if you're not going to sit still. <laughs> I just gave up on him because he wouldn't sit still. So anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I noticed uh, after that, see, I took a lot of hits. I'm down to half my health right now, and I didn't realize how low I was. And I go back over here to fight some more zombies. Although right now I got an insta kill, so this uh, this isn't where I have a problem. Insta kill just uh, if you go down with insta kill, I mean you're really doing something wrong. <laughs> so all it takes is a single bullet to take down the different zombies. So you know one shot, you just run run past them and hit them while you're running by. Just one one little tap with your gun, and they're down. So. 
But that's one thing I didn't, I don't know why it takes so long, the way they set this up, it takes so long to rejuvenate your health. It takes a lot of time. And uh, I don't know if any, uh, anybody who is with the, uh, uh, Brian or the people who made this game, you know, devs or developers, uh, if you watch this video, I want to give you a tip. Um, come up with a game pass or uh, some other perk, some way that you can restore your health quicker. It would be nice. It would be a nice little addition to the game. Or a shield. Um, there's another game where they made a shield and you have to go through your shield before you actually start losing your health. Maybe that's a game pass you can come up with. Anyway, yeah. Um, so. I've got to learn. I need to practice a little bit more with keeping my distance from the zombies as I'm running around like a madman. i got to learn to keep, give them a little wider berth and not get so close. And uh, this kid's shooting the zombies here. He's trying to stab them at the window and he didn't realize they were coming up behind him. And I just hit a couple other guys I didn't know were behind me. I'm moving all over the place trying to avoid zombies and unfortunately ran across a couple others. And these guys, see, I just went too close. I went right into them. I just, I, it's a bad habit. I got, I think I'm going to take them down with my gun before I get there, but then I end up um, not getting them in time, and I take a hit from them. You see, my health, again, is already down to a half, and I'm reviving this kid, and I'm getting drained down more and more trying to revive him, and I got him up, and I'm down to about a third now. And again, I end up going too close to some zombies. And just out of the blue, I didn't realize that one hit me there as I ran past them. I'm down in the orange now. I'm down, I'm down to a quarter health. And there's some more zombies. I'm running too close to them. I get hit again right there. I took another hit. And this kid here, I thought he was... I was going to try to revive him, but he ended up leaving the game. I didn't realize it. So I was come back in here trying to get a little closer to him. I took another hit. I'm down to about a fifth. And he wasn't there. I looked and he wasn't there. So again, another hit there, another hit there. I'm almost dead. I almost didn't notice it. Now I'm down. <laughs> I'm just taking too many chances of coming too close to the zombies as I'm running past shooting them. i got to give them a wider berth, give them more distance. So this is the lesson I learned here today playing this game, this particular map, is I'm just being overconfident. Um, I think I've gotten good enough to play this game without dying, and it's not true. I haven't gotten that good yet. i got to be a little more careful. So I'm going to run back and get me and my quick revive again, so I can, in case it happens again. <laughs> Which it actually does in the Mountain Fortress, because I get drained again by uh, reviving another player. And there's those uh, winged mini-bosses. <coughs> the other thing too, watch in some players, you'll see a couple of players that uh, backpedal. If the zombies are right on you, you can't just backpedal away. You can't outrun them going backwards. You've got to turn yourself around and run. You can run faster if you turn yourself around and you're not facing the zombies. You're facing away from them and you're running away from them. I, I, I've noticed it again today. I wasn't sure. You know, I kind of questioned myself again because because uh, I was playing the other day and I thought maybe the, the not a difference in the speed, but I think there really is because today I noticed it again. I had uh, zombies right on me, like the winged mini-bosses, had them on me. And I was backpedaling, and I couldn't shake them, so I turned right around and ran. And when I turned back around, they were a good distance away from me. So I know running forward, you run faster than you do if you run backwards. So try to avoid the backpedaling when the zombies are right on you. The only time you should do it is if you uh, have some distance and you want to shoot the zombies. And you have to turn around to shoot them, obviously you have to be facing them. But even when you're shooting zombies, keep moving. You know, move side to side or keep moving backwards or keep moving around because uh, zombies will always be on your back. They'll always be showing up and hitting you. you Got to be careful of that. So yeah, I just went and got myself a backup gun because uh, when I was playing earlier, I actually ran out of ammo in one round in this gun here, my, uh, my M249, which I've been using lately. I actually drained the whole reserve. I went through all my ammo. So here's what I like to do in this map here, and I'm going to do another video where I got to do this the whole entire time, is I simply run around the buildings and drag the zombies behind me. And what this does, it keeps those zombies from going up and attacking everybody else. Oh, it's, it's, I stood still too long. <laughs> the zombie came up behind me. That's what I keep warning about, and I went and did it myself. So what I do is I keep the zombies in this area, and it keeps the zombies from attacking everybody else. But in this particular one here, you'll see, this, this is the Mountain Fortress map. 
Um, we're gonna instant kill now, so we just we can just relax and just pick up the zombies. And the other kids notice it too, so they're coming down. They want to attack the zombies. It just becomes a bit of a mayhem here with the uh, the other kids come down, and we have four of us all down here fighting all the zombies that are coming out of the tunnel, and they keep dropping. And uh, my friend and I keep trying to revive them, get them get them back up, and uh, we both went down in this round. But we both had the uh, I had to revive my friend, but I had to I had to quick revive, so I was able to get myself back up. But uh, the problem is, um, really the strategy in this map, if you want it to work really well, is to have one guy, one player, who's confident enough to you know, kind of hoard the zombies up and keep them in this area. And everybody else just needs to stay back. Stay back far enough to where none of the zombies will be attracted to you. And you just hang back and shoot them. You know, just stay back out of the way, far enough away that you don't lure any of the zombies out of, the, out of this uh, area. And uh, just shoot them off, just pick them off and let the one guy run around and uh, hoard them all up in a bunch. And then you can blast them with your RPGs or shoot them with your guns, so long as you keep your distance. So these guys are all too close right now. This kid here ended up getting three of those mini-bosses on him because he was too close. I'm trying to get all these zombies away from them, trying to keep them in this area, and they keep poking their noses in <laughs> and, and taking some zombies away after them. So this ended up being a big problem that uh, it got so bad that we all had to run up up to the upper level because we were just getting overwhelmed with too many zombies coming through. We couldn't keep them under control. And I ended up finally having to run back down here and bring all the zombies back down here at the end of this round. So, but that's the strategy for this that I found works the best, really, is to get one player who knows how to do this to keep the zombies up there in that area and not let the zombies come all the way up here like they are right now. So I'm going to try to bring them back again, but get the kids down here again. There's other kids down. And I revive them. And there's just too many zombies right now. And everybody's down here. we got zombies all over the place. So you see how that mini-boss stayed right with me as I was backpedaling? And I was just about a safe enough distance where he wasn't hitting me. So I just kept shooting and shooting as long as he was just far enough away that I didn't have to worry about it. But this is where it just got crazy, where everybody was going down and... I, was, I, I had to try to revive everybody because everybody was down at this point. Uh, my friend is just about to drop right now. And I try to get one of these kids up. I think I got one of them up. <clears throat> yeah, see, he's down now too. He ended up going down. Got to get him up. Yeah, I got him up. Now I got one more player. And see, my health is down to a quarter after reviving two players. And trying to protect them, trying to keep the zombies off the other guys. And here's another mini boss. The mini boss got me. The winged mini boss took me down. <laughs> so now I realize I gotta go back upstairs. I gotta go get my quick revive again. And my friend's following me up here. He knows there's just too much going on down there. So I'm gonna get my quick revive. I'm gonna turn on the cannons, try to help control the zombie numbers. So I got my quick revive and turn on the cannon now. I'm gonna run over to the other side and turn the other cannon on. <clears throat> And one of the kids ends up coming up the ramp while he's down, and I was able to revive him again, get him back on his feet, or well, my friend did, one or the other. So both cannons are on, and we're trying to take out as many zombies as we can. I'm going to try to work my way around to get to him, see if I can revive him. But without getting too close, you got to keep your distance from these zombies, so they'll hit you. I've already taken one or two hits since I've been up here. So he's got him corralled. Turn him around. He actually, he actually got the other kid up off the ground. So I'm going to play around this a little bit longer. Try to keep these guys uh, support up here. Try to keep them under control. I don't understand this smoking. Uh, <laughs> one of the crawlers puts out this orange smoke. I just noticed that like in the last couple days. I've seen that. But anyway, I'm going to go back down and try to get the zombies away from these guys again. Try to try to drag them off back to the front of the map. My friend went down already. He's on his way down there, too. He's thinking the same thing. Try to get the zombies from coming up here anymore. <coughs> so the thing with jumping, I noticed, it does help, but you have to jump at the right time. And the problem I've had is I've been jumping just a hair too late. And what I mean by that is that, you know, you'll be running up to the zombies, and you think, oh, yeah, now I can jump. I'll get over them. And I end up being just a hair too late, and I take a hit about every time. So what I've been doing lately is trying to time it to where 
at the point where I think I'm, I'm going to jump, I need to jump sooner. I jump a little bit sooner. <laughs> and I avoid getting hit by him. Like that one there, I just jumped over the green one. I didn't get hit. I jumped sooner than I normally would. you got to give yourself a little bit more space, a little bit more time to jump a zombie if you want to jump them safely. So here I got him, finally got him back all inside this area again. And I looked to my right and one of the kids came back down here again. They dragging the zombies off after him. <laughs> so you can't do that. That's the key to running this strategy in this map is you got to give the guy up front some distance. You got to let him keep the zombies under control inside this area. And you all just got to hang back and shoot from a distance. You know, hang back at the doorway, not up here by the barbed wire. Go all the way back to the doorway. Just stay safe enough distance, far enough back that you won't pull any of the zombies out of the horde and have them start attacking you. So anyway, I hope you liked the video and uh, share it with friends. Let them know uh, if you think this is a, a good video to watch. And give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it and appreciate comments. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.